welcome to another Katia V5 video tutorial. Today I want to make a exercise for stiffener bodies and union trim and shell. Let's start with a sketch. Hide as usual the yellow elements. Make a rectangle. Delete the constraints. To the already hidden directions, then give it some dimensions 100, 200, make it symmetric to the axis. Okay, now make a pad, let's say 30 in depth, and some fillets, let's say 20 on this one, that one, that one, and this one, and at the bottom maybe 10. Okay. I need a face. First I need a shell, so I go for shell, default thickness 2 millimeters, face to remove this one. Okay, and now I want to make an extract from this face because I want to use more than one body. Start change to generative shape design, go to operations, usually you see this symbol, go for extract, select this face without propagation and OK. And now I need a new body which I call Dome. So I want to rearrange the order in the tree, go to the top, reorder children, and move this one down. This is still the work in object, the body. You can switch with this symbol to show only the body which is in work, which is empty. So, make a sketch on that plane, hide the elements, go for a circle, give it a dimension, 10, and constrain it to the axis. Okay, now let's extrude this one, go back to part design, this is sketch, make a pad, make it up to surface, to the extract, okay. I want to use stiffener, therefore I need in this body a sort of volume. So I will add some material to this plane, only one millimeter, that's okay. Now let's switch, that's the dome body and make another sketch, this one positioned one, therefore swap, reverse, OK, hide the yellow elements, let's draw a line and make it by intention shorter, 
so you can see the effect of the stiffener better. Give it a length 10 and a dimension here and another one to the x axis. Let's say 10 and this one, yeah, 15 is okay leaf and now you can use stiffener which is right here and make it neutral fiber two millimeters and okay now I want to make a circular pattern for complete crown reference element is this axis and I don't want to pattern the current solid which would be possible just the stiffener and keep specifications and okay so you should not pattern a pattern but you can always pattern a body so I want to pattern this body but therefore I have to remove this material so I go for a split And splitting element should be the extract, which is not visible because of this. And the material will be in the pointed direction. Okay, so now I got just the dome. Maybe you could make a hole. Let's say five ten millimeters deep, that's okay. Take a look, that's my complete model. Now I will hide this face and now I will make a pattern with this dome, which will be a rectangular one. Three and let's say 80 in this direction the current solid will be patterned that's okay 3 and let's say 40 in this direction now I have to change the position of the original one here and I don't want this you can deactivate it by clicking on the center point here let's check the distances maybe this should be 35 and I'll say The other direction maybe eighty two maybe I go for three four and okay. So now I want to remove this. And usually you cannot remove the original from a pattern. You could explode the pattern, but that leads to other problems, to not fully constrained sketches. And I want to remove these faces. So I will go for union trim. That's a Boolean operation. It's located right here. And I want to trim this body against the part body. So this face should be removed. Make a pre 
preview. Looks nice. Then try to select this face, make a preview. It works, so just ignore this warning. If it works, sometimes you have to be stubborn. And another one, maybe this. And make a preview. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. Maybe I add a lip right here and this would be quite easy. Let's go for a sketch on that plane. Orientation doesn't matter right now. Flip it. And hide these three projected elements. And now I want to use this. And I want to project the edges and use it for a pocket, a thick pocket. So go for pocket and Reverse direction. Yes, I know. Make it only two millimeters depth and use thick and make it thickness one millimeter to the inside. And okay. See, you get a nice lip right here. And maybe I add some stiffness in the middle. Another sketch, okay. Flip it and hide. Just maybe two lines. The sketch should be easy constrained, of course. Make it a distance, make it symmetric, make this maybe 40, this one 10, it's enough. Just want to sh show you how this works and Maybe I put this one on, oh no, I make it symmetric again. So this was 40, 10, 10, and make these two points symmetric to this. And these two are symmetric to that again. And you can use the stiffener. See, it gets elongated and extruded and okay. I think this is a nice exercise 
Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank <music> you.